Oh my god, there's a spider on my camera. I'm not scared of spiders, but you know, it's kind of crawling up the camera, kind of weird. I suppose it just really wants to be in this video. It's just got a intention to do that in its life. Hi everyone, today I have a challenge video and this is the House of Books challenge which was originally started by British Biblioholic. Please check out her channel. Please subscribe because you will love the videos. George did a really good idea coming up with this challenge. It's such a great idea. I really want it just to spread around the book community like crazy because it's such a good thing. It's just so stressful and so fun and so exciting and you get to, you know, talk about all the books you like as well. Basically you just build a house of books like you would build a house of cards but we do it with books. We are booktubers, we have to change everything so it's all book related. I don't have the books with me now but hopefully I'll be able to annotate them and show pictures of them on the screen. I can't really haul like 15 books out here. I just you know, I can't do it. <laughs> so the first one is a childhood favourite and for this one I have picked The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I love this series, I think it's such an easy one to read. I remember the characters being really good and I just remember really enjoying it. We then have a classic and for this one I've selected Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I really like this. It wasn't as good as it potentially could have been but it was still a nice read. I had to read it for GCSE. The next one is a book you'd recommend to read and for this one I've selected Eon by Alison Goodman. It's an absolutely fantastic high fantasy duology. I remember the characters were really unique. It was so shocking as well. Very, very good. The fourth one is a random purchase. For this one, I've selected The Sight by David Clement Davis. I remember seeing this in the bookstore and loving the cover and it just dragged me in to read the blurb. And then I loved the blurb as well. So I picked the book up. I'd never heard anything about it before. And in the end, I actually ended up really enjoying the book. So hooray for random purchases. Sometimes they can be a good idea. Fifth one is a book that I bought because of the cover. For this one, it's The Power of Six by Pitticus Law. Although I had already read the first book and enjoyed it. I wasn't deciding really to get this and then I saw the cover and I just thought it's so nice I'm just gonna get it this time and then read it. I actually didn't like the book when I got around to it for some reason it was very disappointing the characters fell flat I kind of just fell out with them so I haven't continued with that series unfortunately. Six one is a book that's adapted to a film and I'm selecting The Hunger Games as you would expect. I'm not even gonna explain my love for this because you already know it i am addicted to the hunger games i am so excited for catching fire the next one is an animal story or a book that predominantly features an animal for this i'm selecting the warriors series by erin hunter the first book is into the wild i hate it when people say it sounds stupid or they're put off because it's about cats well please just go and read it because you'll absolutely love it you won't regret it i know it might sound childish but it's actually really really good and you just should read it i can't explain it, to make it sound really good but it is absolutely fantastic. The eighth book is a book that you'd highly recommend and for this it's going to be Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. It's absolutely fabulous. You must read it. I was so surprised by how good it was because I was a bit unsure at first and it was just amazing. The whole book from the beginning till the end just grabbed you in and you just can't stop reading. It is so addicting. The ninth one is a favourite book or a book you love. Because I've already given my two favourite books I'll be selecting Divergent by Veronica Roth for this because I think it's such a good read. Very fast pace, really good characters, just a really good dystopia that you will enjoy. The tenth book is a graphic novel or a manga and for this I'm selecting Death Note Black Edition Volume 1 which combines volumes 1 and 2 of the actual normal ones that are really short because it's like a binder. I think this is a really good manga series. I also love Bleach as well but you know, this is really good too. The 11th one was actually quite hard to find. It's the oldest one in terms of publication date. And for this one, it's Black Beauty by Anna Sue Well. So yes, Black Beauty was published in 1877. I believe it's the earliest one on my shelf. I didn't look through every single book, but I looked through the ones that I thought were old. And this was a lot older than all the rest. The next one is a book that you think is well written. For this, I'm selecting The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. This was originally written in Spanish before being translated into English and loads of other languages. It is a beautiful style, vivid and intricate. And and it's exactly what you would look for to really get good imagery of everything. I think everything's so clear and I just loved it. Thirteenth one is a book that isn't very well known and for this I've selected Wolf River by Michelle Paver. I haven't heard anyone even mention this but it's the first book in the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness series. I read it ages ago and really thought it was good. Definitely check that out if you're looking for a really fast quick middle grade which is about wolves. The penultimate one in this challenge is a book that you liked but didn't expect to. For this one I've chosen to pick Gone by Michael Grant. Before I'd heard very mixed things about there's too much action, it's so crazy, you can't even keep up with it. I read it and I thought it was actually quite good. I don't think it's amazing. I kind of agree there is a lot of action and it's a little bit mental, but I thought it was still a very good read. It was very intriguing. I really want to continue on with that series when I can. And finally, the book that makes you sad but in a good way is 
probably everyone's selection for this, unless you've read some other book that's really sad as well. It is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I'm not even going to explain this. It's such a sad book, but at the same time, it's so good. And oh my gosh, just so many emotions in that book. It's absolutely amazing. So now without further ado, let's move on to the challenge, which I will be filming inside. Good luck to me. Good luck to you if you're going to do the challenge as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now. And I'll come back and tell you how I did. So I've just finished the challenge now and I did it in 1 minute 43 so I don't think that's really very good but I tried and did my best and that's all you can do. I really enjoyed it, I thought it was stressful but it was very fun and I just loved doing it. It was just kind of like really different. As I expected before they did kind of fall down just as I was getting near the end and it kind of got a bit mental then. but. I'm still happy with how I did and yeah, just recommend that you do it. I will tag some people in the description below, but even if I've not tagged you, please do it anyway because you'll love it and just have fun doing it. I want it to spread around the book community. So that's gonna be it for today's video. So thank you for watching everyone. Don't forget to comment, rate, share and subscribe. Don't forget to do this challenge. Good luck if you're gonna do it and see you tomorrow for a new video.